Okay, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little short tutorial on my airbrush work um, and specifically using reducer in the paints that I use. And I'm going to show you how, how I make this. And uh, it's to make these paints flow smooth in your airbrush. Uh, these are just cheap Hobby Lobby paints that I get. Um, this one's Anita's. There's Deco Art, Apple Barrel. Um, there's several brands that are basically the same paint. They're just different companies. Um, but by themselves, thin with water, they don't flow well in an airbrush. They do, but it's just it's hit and miss. Um, but with this reducer, it makes all the difference in the world. And I'm going to show you how to make that. So let me get the camera turned around here and we'll get started. Okay, so this is the ingredients I use. This is 91% alcohol. I use distilled water and any brand will do as long as it's distilled and then I use glycerin and <clears throat> glycerin has been around for ages uh, it's made from plants like soybeans other other plants it's used in cosmetics it's used in cooking um, my mother used to use it when she made homemade ice cream it supposedly helped the ice cream from freezing into crystals uh, kept it smooth and creamy Cooks use it because it helps oil and water-based ingredients mix together better. But I think it has something to do, uh, the reason why it works in this is it has something to do with the paint mixing with the reducer and making it flow better. So but anyway, uh, that's what I'm gonna use for this. Um, and all I do is I use, I got an empty bottle here and I've got it marked. Um, this is a 16 ounce bottle and I just usually do about half of it at a time. I've got a little bottle here. You can, you can find these bottles at Hobby Lobby, uh, that I can use. It's a drip bottle and I can squirt some in. So, but all I do is I take, um, my bottle here and I fill it up to that halfway mark there with alcohol. and blow my stuff here get out of the way and then I fill it the rest of the way up to the next line to the halfway point with distilled water and then I put 10 or 15 drops of uh, this glycerin in it And these don't have to be exact measurements. Just getting it close works and just give it a good shake. And there you have it. Then I'll fill up my bottle here. This also works well as a cleaner. Um, so I use it as a cleaner sometimes, but I've got some, uh, this is an actual airbrush cleaner uh, by Createx. And this is an eight ounce bottle. And if you look right real close here, you can see this little eight ounce bottle was $9. Reducer of the same size, same brand is around $12 for the same size bottle. Alcohol's cheap. I think it was less than three bucks for this uh, 32 ounces of alcohol. Water's cheap. Glycerin, I think was I think it was four less than five dollars in the, the at the pharmacy. So I've got less than ten dollars in this, and it's enough to make a gallon probably. But for me, it works great. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with it and so I use it all the time um, I'm gonna show you a little bit here my airbrush is um, I use an Iwata Eclipse and I, I like the gravity feed versus the siphon feed um, 
to me it doesn't take as much paint but um, it's a general purpose airbrush it's not the best you can get but it's also not the cheapest and it works really great I think I paid 140 bucks for this um, and this is just a little contraption I put on here that you can get um, that helps capture moisture that may come through the line I use a shop compressor I don't I don't have a, a airbrush compressor yet so I just you may hear it running in the background uh, so I just use a regular shop compressor sometimes it can get moisture build up in it and it'll shoot through the lines but this little contraption here will help trap it and then you can uh, you can release it out through this little valve here um, but I'm going to show you a little bit uh, how to use this and some of you know I use just cheap Hobby Lobby paint this is acrylic um, this is the De there's several brands of it this is deco art uh, Delta folk art um, Anita's and they're all basically the same paint they got tons of different colors shades but they're just it's just a cheap acrylic but it works great for what I do and what I use and I use it almost exclusively but I do have a few airbrush colors uh, some create I've got some Createc airbrush colors and uh, because what I like about some of the airbrush colors is they're is they're transparent and you really can't get transparency with some of this paint so uh, when I need something transparent I'll I'll go with the airbrush colors that I have uh, but I'm going to show you how this works um, I, when, once this cleaner is gone I'm just going to start using this as cleaner also okay so now I'm going to show you a little how it works how well it works and I'm going to start off with using uh, I'm just going to use some of this black and I just you can see I don't know if you can see how thick it is but it's it's kind of thick it's not as thick as tube paint, but it's um, it's fairly thick. It won't flow on an airbrush like that, straight out of the bottle. Um, but what I do is I take some of the reducer and just mix it right on the plate. And what I'm looking for is something a little thicker than ink consistency. Uh, I want the paint to drip. See how it drips off the brush? So I might go a little bit thinner. There we go. That's better. So it's not as thin as water, but it's not as near as thick as the paint was anymore. And how I load the airbrush is I just take the brush scoop some off in there there's a uh, there's a ton of DIY videos on YouTube on how to make this and some of them are using uh, Windex as part of the one of the ingredients uh, but I don't use the Windex. I don't think it's needed. Um, this seems to work fine, so I, that's just an added cost that I don't use for it. So I'm going to show you how well this stuff works here. So you can see I can get some pretty fine lines with it. And I got my airbrush, I got my compressor set on about 20, 25 pounds of pressure. So we come back wider. <laughs> I 
But there's another trick you can do. You take the tip off. On this particular airbrush, you can take the tip off and expose the needle. Typically, I would turn the air pressure down to about uh, 10 or 15 PSI. And what that does is it allows you to get real close so you can see what you're doing. But you can get some really fine lines with it. Oh, I got a little too heavy there. I mean, that's pencil line. But it just lets you have better control. I don't generally do a lot of detail that fine. I do sometimes. A lot of times I'll just use a, a hand brush when I want to get down to detail that small. But you get the idea. Um, I think you'll like it if you try this. I'm going to show you how to clean it now. One thing about um, taking this cap off is you don't want to drop it because if you bend that needle, it will um, you ruin it. You have to replace the needle and the head that the needle seats in because if you bend the needle, you're more likely going to ruin the head. So, but another thing, keeping this off, it, it allows you to. Uh, Clean the needle off because paint will build up on the end of it. So just be careful when you're using it with that off. So what I do to clean it is um, I'll just empty. It's a good thing about working outside, I can just empty it there. Then I'll use a, just a wet brush with water to kind of clean out the heaviest residue. make sure I get the heaviest stuff out of it and then I'll use the cleaner in this case I'm going to use the actual cleaner and just let it roll flow through it another thing you can do that or another thing that I do is I'll cover the end of it with my finger and pull lever what that does is it creates a back glow into the cup and it cleans out the the uh, um, chamber in there so I just let it empty and I may do it one more time just to make sure back glow it and then spray it out So that's how I use it on the airbrush. But that's it. Try it. I think you'll like it. It's cheap. It works great on these cheap paints. Now there are airbrush paints that I buy and use. Very few though. Uh, this Com Art is a airbrush paint acrylic. Um, it's a very good brand, very good paint, but it's expensive. Um, this little one ounce can, bottles like five bucks compared to 99 cents that'll make 10 of those <laughs> so but i use these a lot uh like i say i do use these but just not as often as i use this stuff so. all right well if you have any questions or comments about it leave them for me in the comment section below and i'll be happy to answer um if you haven't already if you like these videos, I'd really appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing. But I'll see y'all in the next project.